This time on the show, pound include programming.h. We're going to void man and hello world all up in this biznatch. Python, JavaScript, basic, it's time to learn to code. All that and more this time on Hack 5. Return zero. This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by domain.com. Hello and welcome to a very special Hack 5. My name's Darren Kitchen. And I'm Shannon Morse, and we're programming. Yeah. Actually, the special part is that I'm on like 99 bottles of Robitussin on the wall. Not, yeah, sorry. Still, still the CES flu. Actually, we're recording this the day there's after a, we recorded the There's a pretend wall one. between us so I don't end up getting your uh, flu because yeah. I'm still high on candy. All right, well, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, as you guys may be aware, about 20 years ago, I started my first foray into computing with an IBM PC XC. That's what it says in my bio. And right on. Yeah, you see, we weren't really rich growing up, and an IBM PC XT was pretty much the best that my mom could afford off the newspaper classifieds. In the day, that shit was awesome. Yeah, that's like um, it's like Craigslist, except it was paper and they delivered it to your doorstep. Somebody would like, print it out or something. Uh, anyway, I know, right? You paid for that? Well, being that this modest little machine sported a mere like 4.7 gigahertz processor, 512K of RAM, graphics and gaming were at a minimum. But the beauty of this machine, and something that I attribute much of who I am as a hacker today, is that if I wanted to play a game, I'd have to write it out in basic, uh, the programming language. I think like, I had DOS 3.3 and it came Jealous with it. of you. Well, I didn't actually know basic, but after fiddling with the source code of nibbles and the other games that came included to give myself extra lives, or just going to the library to find books, it's, uh, it's like Wikipedia, except you can go there in real life. Uh, I began to start to grok code. And let me tell you, learning to code is probably the single most important skill you can develop on a computer next to scoring Instagib and perfecting your micro. Your micro. Yeah. So anyway, while most things in the hacker realm are an experience of mostly solidarity, it doesn't have to be intimidating. So to that effect, we present to you our first, and hopefully not last, I'm sure we'll have many more, show focused entirely on code. Yay! What are you getting into, bits and bytes? Just what? a little bit of JavaScript. Hooray! Are you going to make the a easy bookmark way. applet? Oh, I'm going to be talking about a fun JavaScript bookmark Ooh, applet. Yes. And then uh, we get a little Python going on. and. Yeah, come, I'm a couple excited. of your questions, and I, there's so many more that I wanted to get into, like Mindfuck and Lol Code and White Space and oh, some yeah. of those oh, others. Lol Code. But, That's uh, one of my favorites. That might be another episode. <laughs> if I knew one coding language, it would be Lol Code. But hey, we have a gift from a fan. Woohoo, what did we get? We got. I don't oh, is this airmail? from this is. What country? It's an airmail from Australia. Nice. Yeah, I know. Pretty cool. 548 Market Street, um, number 39301, San Francisco, California, 94104. This is from Bill. Thank you, Bill. Can we give them our hack shop one? Because that address from, is so much easier. Uh, Bill from Australia. Um, no letter. No letter? I don't know what it is. You tell me, Darren. It is. Da -da -da -da. Paul, help me out here. Zoom in. It's. <laughs> Paul's to zoom in. I see. It, it looks handmade. We've got USB. Oh, it's definitely handmade. Uh, we have uh, some leads. We have power. That looks, is that DC pineapple barrel. power? Oh. Or any kind of power. Oh, wait. What is it? Oh, I know exactly what this is. This isn't is just it? a gift Tell from me. a fan. I was actually, oh my gosh, I know exactly what this is. What is it? These go on a car battery. <gasps> this goes on a pineapple. And this oh my is, god. And this is a voltage regulator to run the pineapple. for. Did you buy that on eBay no, or something? No, I did not. <laughs> One of our awesome fans made it, sent it, and I was actually Aww. going to do a special segment on it, but now we're talking about it, so... We can still do a segment on it. We'll just pretend it's... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we're definitely doing some... Well, okay, here. I might as well just spill it. South by Southwest, this year, be there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Also, just so you guys know, don't okay. use the Wi-Fi. Yeah, just if Darren's yes, somewhere we in the area, just be don't. talking about this a lot more no in wifis. the near future. No wi <laughs> I didn't realize this wasn't actually a gift from a Well, it was kind of a gift from a fan. Yeah, knew it's a gift coming. from a fan, yes. and it's been sitting in our gift from a fan box for like three months. <laughs> <laughs> well, now stay tuned, because in just a bit, Shannon's going to be learning JavaScript the easy way. 
But first, let's take a quick break and check in with Kirby at Starbuck for the Hello World of the Week. While I go vet the script more. It doesn't matter whether you're in the shower or hanging out with friends or showering with your friends. When a killer idea hits you, you need to snag your domain fast. And with Domain.com's simple search and checkout process, you're going to have that domain in like no time. Plus, when you're ready to take the next step, Domain.com has rock solid hosting infrastructure to create a perfect foundation for your project. And get this, the guys over at Domain.com, they're huge Hack5 fans. They want to hook you up. So they've got a coupon code just for us. It's HAK5 at checkout gets you 15% off. So when you think domains, think domain.com.